Hey everybody, Ann here. Just sitting here having my coffee with you. Got a nice fire going and I've already done chicken chores. Uh, yeah, made it through the storm. It just kept coming and going. There were a couple times when we were in the red zone. But, um, and I haven't even gone out to look to see what's fallen. Uh, it's cold outside. It's going to be dropping in temperature all day into the low 30s and it's supposed to snow. But I let the chickens out and they were so happy. They were so happy to be out running around and, you know, hunting and pecking and doing what they do. Um, today, well, I had taken some footage. I had been looking for some mushrooms and black fungus and I found some, so I'm going to show you all that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get anything done. Oh, yeah, yesterday? Oh, I got to tell you, it's so funny. Um, well, not so funny. I did a bunch of dishes with all the rain. Did a bunch of dishes. But, uh, while it was raining and not raining very hard, I went and washed my truck in the rain. I had, um, like an, uh, a bath hand towel, nice heavy duty one, that was, uh, hanging over the fence. And I just grabbed that and I thought, you know what, this truck has not been washed since I owned it and it's starting to look a little shabby. So I went and scrubbed it up and uh, made it look real nice. So that was pretty awesome. Today I am doing laundry. Yep, I got a load out there. I got a big uh, comforter out there because uh, one of the doggies puked on it. Gross. Um, I'm tired. Didn't sleep that well last night, but... Today is another day. Yep. Another day in 2022. It's got to be a good year. It has to be a good year. So anyhow, let me show you those mushroom things that I did. Looky here. This is the log on the other side of the stream. And it looks like they're regenerating. Got some here. Got some there. Down there. So in a day, I think I'm going to be able to harvest me some more oyster mushrooms. Yes, indeed. Some of them are indeed big enough. This one's big enough. That one's big enough. Uh, I think that one and maybe one other. I'm going to cut them. i got my little harvesting bag and my knife. And there's a few more that are going to be coming in a few days. I'm going to cut from underneath here. Because I'm going to leave quite a bit on the tree. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Hey, let's get this one. Yep, these are nice and fresh. Oh my goodness, would you look at that. I checked out here yesterday and there was nothing on this. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this up to the tiny house, get the ones off that I can harvest and hopefully grow some more. All right guys, I pulled off all I think I'm gonna pull off for right now. I still need to go through and get off the little bits of the tree limb. Um, I'm leaving quite a bit behind. Um, and basically all I do to get it off is I just kind of pinch it. Oops, <laughs> I didn't do that very good. And I'll leave a little bit still on there, but there's plenty more. And here, let me just do this one. I just kind of pinch it off, and it leaves a little bit on there. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit more left on both of these. So I'm going to put them out in my little thing and see if we'll get more. This is exciting. Let me see those oyster mushrooms. There they are. Not a big harvest, but that's okay. So with these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off just, well, I'm going to cut off that whole stem. Likely, just like, I think this is sharp enough. Yep. This little pocket knife that I found out in the woods has turned out to be pretty awesome. And um, yeah, so I'll just take this and put it back on a tree to see if I can get it to, I don't know, do something. So I'll go through and check the each and every little ridge to make sure there's no yucky stuff in them. Bugs, um, I will likely run these under the water. I know people say, don't wash your mushrooms. Well, I do because there's stuff deep down in those little ridges. Um, and I want to make sure that it's all out. See? I can get a lot of it out with my knife. But uh, just to be sure, I'll run it underwater this way, and then I'll just put it back on here. I'm going to dehydrate these. And so the first part, and I've done this before, I'm going to just leave them on this paper towel. I'm going to put another one over it and just kind of tap a little bit. And then in a few hours, I'll turn it over 
and I'll keep doing that and replacing the paper towels every so often. I just put them on this rack directly on top of the wood burning stove and within I would say 30 minutes they were dehydrated. In fact, <laughs> I could have left them on a little bit less time but they're nice and crispy. This one, uh, I don't know if I'll save it, it's kind of burnt. But uh, that worked really well over the wood burning stove. So I'm just going to put them in a jar, they're completely cool now. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I am kind of bummed because I've had to de-decorate this Christmas tree, this cedar tree, and I don't know. The puppies pulled it over several times and I had to keep fixing it, so I don't know if this is going to make it. I don't even know if it's worth the energy to transplant. Um, I think I can probably clip that off with some scissors. But it, it really just doesn't look too good, does it? I don't know. They're supposed to say pretty green. Um, well, I'm not going to give up on it just quite yet. So yeah, time to put the Christmas decorations away. Look at that. It's been one day and it's already growing back. Oh my goodness. You know, I know a lot of you may get bored at this stuff, but I don't. It doesn't get old to me. I think it's a magnificent process and the bonus is I get to eat it. Look at that. I think I might harvest me some more black fungus today. <sighs> Look at this. Torch has flown the coop. I guess this is what was going on earlier. Alright, I gotta figure out how to get him back in. Well, he let me grab him. <laughs> so, in you go, mister. There you go. Alright, I gotta figure out how he got out. I think this area is where he got out. This right here is not covered by any deer netting. Didn't need it in the summertime. Um, clearly I do now. But see how this one's poking their heads through. Um, the bottom part had come up and shifted off of the T-post. So these little stakes that Miss Donna sent me and a few more little ones like this. I just put them in various places so that the chicken wire wouldn't come up. Um, I could actually stand to use a few more of them, but they kind of like to dig down a little bit, and so it was coming up in certain areas, but I think it's going to be okay for now. I'm just surprised that this big boy let me pick him up. He didn't even have any problems with that. Um, so, and this is where they like to come and dust bathe, so I'm going to put some wood ash in there eventually when it dries up. But yeah, so I had to put some more stakes down, and I think this will be okay now. Look at these nasty eggs. Yeah, girls, you're not supposed to lay on the floor of your coop. So I've just put some in the corners there, one corner there, and they're supposed to lay in these, but look at so I don't know. We'll see if that works. I think I'm just going to go ahead and wash these up really well and fry them up for, I don't know, maybe lunch with some bacon. Bacon and eggs. Why not? Oh, I'm not going to complain. Look at that yolk. Oh, mm-mm-mm. This is going to be a great lunch. Nothing better than farm fresh eggs in your belly with bacon. Yeah, so it is uh, 36 degrees outside. It's 72 degrees inside. I've got a window cracked. And this little bit of insulation that I got up so far is making a difference. It's just a whole different world in this tiny house this winter uh, because all the walls that my, my son put up and the finishing of the insulation. So, yeah, I'm going to stay warm and toasty even though it's going to get down to the low teens um, this week. Yeah, this week. Anyhow, it's been having kind of like a icy, uh, wintry mix, they call it. Uh, a little bit of ice coming down mixed with rain. And so um, it's supposed to start snowing here in a little bit. I was stressed, of course, about the chickens because I let them free range. And uh, they're all up and underneath the van. Uh, Romeo took them all underneath the van. So that is great. Um, there's no wind, so I'm not worried about the wind, and everybody else is just moseying around their yards, and so I don't need to be quite so worried about it. Anyhow, um, I don't know that I'll get anything else done today. I did start a load of laundry. I put them through the wash cycle, and I've plugged up the sink again to hopefully get some more water in there. 
uh, to do the rinse cycle. Um, it's awful cold to be doing laundry outside, but I got to do some laundry. Anyhow, I think that's about it, you guys. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.